material. If you want to get a wife material, you should be a good tailor to be able to sew this material into becoming what you need. To my youtube channel again my name is Augusta good thank you guys for stopping by to watch my video so yesterday was valentine's day 14th february 2021 and after yesterday i saw a lot of disappointment online a lot of girls came out to to, to talk about their disappointment, what happened to them yesterday. And from reading their posts and the comments that follows, I decided to come up with this video because I realized that a lot of girls are becoming good girls to bad, bad. Before I move on, I need to let you guys know that a lot of things I'm going to say, a lot of things I say on my channel are uh, born out of experience. Like my advice I give on this channel are from experience. And from working with people, like advising people, um, speaking with people, um, coaching people, like ladies, I, I got to gather my knowledge from there. Also, you need to know that I have this experience because I have been single, I have been married, I have been separated, divorced, and now single. So I've passed through all the phases of relationship that you can think of. And along the line, I have gathered a lot of experiences. So now let's go to the main story. How not to be a good girl to a bad guy. A lot of ladies have been good girls to a very, very bad boy. Let me tell you girls this thing. You need to teach a man how to handle you. When I say teach, I am not saying like you take paper, paper and pen and start teaching him how, what to do and what not to do. No, you create boundaries. You show him that this is it. This is how I am. This is where I've put myself and this is the level I want to be in. If he decides to drag that level down, you let him know, no, it's not going to work this way. Take for example, a guy cannot call you up at four o'clock for a date he is planning for five o'clock. No, you should understand that for him to call you up at four o'clock, another lady has cancelled on him. Another lady has disappointed him. So you are now his, um, the, the lady that is on the bench that he has kept there to come and fill up the space for him. If you keep responding to those emergency calls, he will call you, where are you? Where are you? Um, can you meet me up here now, now, now? Like you should know that this guy is using you as a backup plan you are not his number one priority he is using you as a backup plan and he is a bad guy you cannot be a good girl to this bad you need guy. to know this also if you keep reducing your standard he will keep pushing that is how we human behave he will keep pushing to see how far he can go if you keep reducing your standard he knows that no matter what happens that you're going to be there you're not going to leave even when he disrespects you you'll be there whatever he does you are there you'll even be the one begging him to stay see that and yeah, you say um, and this girl is a bad girl but man stays with him uh, but men stays with her. Let me tell you something. You know the reason why men stay with this kind of girls that you tag as bad because they lay their standard. This is it. If he's the one that is going to tell you that I'm not going to take rubbish, he will let the man know I am not going to take rubbish. That's why they call them bad girls and they think they are wrong girls. No, that's because they know their standard and they know when to tell a man no. And the man too knows that he cannot push this one around. He is not a push around. They will be the one to label the woman. Uh, this one is not a wife material this, this, one, this next step stop giving a man hey stop giving your boyfriend stop giving these uh, guys that does not know their direction stop giving them wife privileges stop giving them wife privileges don't give your wife privilege to a bad boy you know what I mean by a bad boy? Stop giving your wife privilege to that person. Don't think that because you're going to sell yourself cheap, then he's going to buy you. No. If you sell yourself cheap, he will pick you, buy for credit, and he will end up not paying. You will be the one that will suffer it. Stop going there to wash his clothes. You are not his dry cleaner. Stop going there to clean his house. You are not his maid. Stop going there to cook for him. You are not his cook. Stop, stop, stop checking on him like 24-7. You are you his secretary. Stop this whole thing. When you do these things too much, it shows signs of desperation. And when a man knows that you have any little sign of desperation, they will want to drag on you. They will want to treat you the way they want to treat you. Because they know that whatever they do, 
you will remain there because you are the one who is making them feel now that oh i want this relationship this relationship must work out but when you create boundaries and when this man try to push this boundary you let him know that no you cannot push this boundary beyond this point where it is he will understand let me tell you you will say but he will go let me tell you something if he doesn't go and you make him remain you 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 try to manipulate him to remain my dear you will get into marriage with this man you're going to stay with this man for years not 10 not 20 not 30 if god if god allows you to be in this earth for a very long time you're going to stay with this man for a very long time are you going to be able to keep up with this pretense are you going to be able to continue to miss to accept his misbehavior mind you when you allow him one he will push two. When you allow him two, he will push three. He won't stop until you ask him to stop. No man will treat you well until you ask them to treat you well. And you don't do that by nagging. You do that by your action, the way you respond. A lot of ladies knows that the man they are following, the man they are dating, the man that they are with at present is not going to change. But they keep pushing like, um, let me see how far I can go. Let me see how far I can go. Maybe if I do this, he will change. Maybe if I do that, he will change. My dear, if you're not married to him yet and he's treating you that way, when you get married to him, he will treat you worse. Marriage does not change somebody. They will say, uh, when he gets married he might stop behaving like this marriage does not change somebody you decide to change if you want to change a man that is cheating a man that disrespects you in fact the man will get tired because now after marriage he is stuck with you for life so now he will get tired and want to do anything to get away with you yo marry him will never change him he won't change for you if he wants to change he will change with a man Look at how he treats how he treats people. How does he treat women? How does he talk about women? How does he respond to women? Does he respect women? Is he rude to women? When I mean women, I'm not talking about his uh, side chick, his ex girlfriends, or whatever. When I say women, I'm talking about the women close to him, especially. How does he talk about his mother? How does he treat his mother? How does he treat his sister? Does he scream at his mother? Does he scream at his parents? Does he respond res respect uh, uh, authorities? Does he hit his sisters? A man who hits his sisters will hit you definitely one day because you are no different from his sisters. A man who does not respect his sisters and his mother will definitely disrespect you someday because he has no respect for that gender of him. He does not have respect for anybody at all. Watch how he responds to things. Watch how he handles anger. Watch how he handles frustration. You have to watch these things. You have to choose between your wants and your need. What is your want? Your want attracts you to the man, but your need keeps you with the man. The want might be the, um, I don't know what's on your list. Maybe the height, maybe the six pack, maybe his car, maybe his kind of job, maybe, you know, his perfume and all that. Those may be your want, but your need is his personality. How, it, how does he treat you? How does he handle your emotions? How is his personality? How does he treat you? Does he respect you? Is he rude to you? Those are your needs. Is he a Christian? Not just a Christian like a Christian. Is he God-fearing? Does he respect God? These are the things you need to check. These are the things you need to check. They are very, very important. Please do not get stuck with your wants while you're not looking at your need. Let your need, I know your wants should be there. Like me, there, are, there is a kind of person I would want to date. Maybe I want a dark skin or a light skin man. But that is not the, the, the focal point of your relationship. That should not be your focal point. That should not be what you're basing everything on. You can, you can need, you can want, you may want a, a dark guy, but you got, you got a light skinned guy who understand your emotions, who understand your love language, who knows how to respect you, who knows the right thing to do for you, who knows your mumu button. So if you get that type, you can as well just twerk it. It's easy to twerk. You get your wants and you don't get your need. That's where the trouble is going to come in from. When you get a man with a tall guy that has six pack and work in a good company and has a good car and smells nice, but this man does not have character. This man does not have good personality. This man does not respect you. He doesn't care if you're crying or you're not crying. He doesn't care about your emotions. This man, then, 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 this whole thing will not work. It's like you're buying 
buying a, 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 a Versace and you're putting it on, on a, 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 a mad person roaming on the street is valueless. It doesn't have value. You understand? A man could change. There's a difference between changing and adjusting. Do you understand? There's a difference between changing and adjusting. This is a pen. I cannot change this pen to a pencil. It's a pen and it is a pen. However, I can adjust. I can take off the, the black ink from this pen and put in a red, a red one inside it will still remain a pen however it will not be um, um writing with black ink anymore but red ink that is adjusting but me thinking of how to change a pen to a pencil can never be done i am not jesus christ who changed water to wine you can't do it i am going to leave you with that and i am going to conclude by saying that your work in that man's life is not to change him. Yes, he can adjust. Yes, you can work in adjusting him. But that should be done before the marriage. Don't get married to an apple. And then after marriage, you are looking for tangerine. You won't get it. An apple is an apple. Why a tangerine is a tangerine? So if you're getting married to an apple, know that this is a package you're getting from the market. So your work is not to change him from an apple to a tangerine. Your work is to walk along with him try and see if you can adjust and walk with the apple but if you cannot my dear from the beginning say say the truth to yourself tell yourself the truth and say i cannot continue to be a good girl to a bad guy thank you guys for watching my video i do appreciate you if you enjoy this video you like what i do on this channel please do not forget to subscribe and click on the notification button that way you will know whenever i upload a new video you have a lovely day and bye